call it a night. We are on Radio Row. There's tons of different people from the sports world, entertainment world, and media world. And we are so excited to have someone from the baseball world, general manager of the Washington Nationals, Mike Rizzo, who's coming off of a World Series title. How have the last five months been? Congratulations. Well, they've been they've been <laughs> epic. It's been an exciting run. And, uh, you know, starting from when we started in, in the beginning of the season to win the World Series was uh, such an ex extreme comeback by uh, by a great bunch of guys. Uh, we couldn't have been more excited. And uh, we're taking that momentum into uh, 2020. Right. Like not even in that just that World Series final, but also at the beginning of the year when you guys really kind of flipped the script. If you were to tell your team last year at the beginning of the year you'd be winning the World Series, what would you have thought? Well, at the beginning of the year, I would have thought that's a reasonable mm -hmm. reasonable uh, statement. But, uh, you know, on May 23rd, it wasn't so reasonable. You know, we were 12 games under 500. Uh, I think uh, the Vegas odds had us at a zero uh, 0 0.01 percent chance of winning the World That's Series. That's not great, but uh, so uh, so at that time it wasn't. But uh, you know this was a good bunch of uh, of a mix of a veteran group of guys with with some really young uh, uh, play with your hair on fire type of yeah. players. And uh, you know they believed the whole way. Uh, you know Davey Martinez, our manager, he never he never wavered one bit. He believed it the whole time, and uh, it was something that uh, be, because of the trials and tribulations we had early, it made, it made it that much more special. Right. And so you're watching Game Seven from. Um, you know, you're watching from the seats. What's it like? as a general manager well you know you're on the edge of your seat and uh, you know I often like to be close to the, to the game whenever I can especially mm -hmm. on the road and uh, it's you know you're, you're feeling every pitch and you, you know the the vibe of the stadium and uh, you know the emotions of, of the of the bench that that was right in front of us and uh, you know and I had my family with me so it was yeah. it was remarkable and speaking of your family you just got married right Correct. congratulations thank you thank you uh, life is pretty good for you right now right yeah, it's been it's yeah. been a great it's been a great run and we uh, you know, you know, 2019 was was uh, was special to me and, and to the you know to the Washington D.C. market and personally for me too. And uh, and we're uh, again we're looking forward to you know continuing mm -hmm. uh, the momentum into 20. Now I know you are here with Budweiser. We're going to get yes. to more on them in a second. But you did also say that. You've been drunk since you won, correct? Right, exactly. That is yeah. correct. Okay. Yes, I've been drinking since uh, for a month. That's well, good, because I'm, I'm, I'm drunk right now, so that's great. Um, no, but that's, what What was your ideal sort of, like, how did you party best? Like, what what did you what did you lean into during the well, good days? It was it was, per, it was just uh, you know it was just uh, a, a whirlwind of, of, of just different events and parties yeah. and that type of thing. So obviously you know with the champagne baths after the game, That's, those are the most those remarkable are the best. out of and those things go in deep into the <laughs> night and often roll over into the next day. And uh, and then we had a magnificent parade on on uh, on DC. There was there was about a million people in red shirts and uh, it, it was a special time. We were we were on the on the last float with Ryan. Zimmerman, David Martinez, myself, and our families were with us, and uh, and it was uh, when we turned left onto Constitution Avenue, and the, the confetti gun went off. We were uh, we had a Budweiser in our hands, and oh, yeah. uh, we've had them we had them there had for quite them. a while. It's too bad we couldn't bring Budweisers in here. Yes, you know, like we good visual. We us. looked at the rules because <laughs> I have a drinking show as well, so uh -huh. uh, it's an interview show first and foremost. Right, you don't have to get worried about that right now <laughs> just yet but um, having been in the position you've been in you you know you've been with the organization for so long you see yourself build a championship team mm -hmm. what are like what what's sort of like the DNA that you need to have to be able to to put together like what do they have to have as a DNA to win well, you know, it's, it, first and foremost, they have to be a talented team. Obviously, that uh, that goes without saying. But uh, to get the right ingredients, to get the right mixture uh, uh, of speed, power, of pitching, defense, of of, of home run hitters, and, and on base percentage type of guys, to get the DNA in the clubhouse of the of you know who's in charge, what, what's the chemistry like, and that type of thing, and to have a pure joy of, of playing the mm -hmm. game. I think we we hit on all. Parts of, of, of that equation, and uh, you know, you, you could see with the dugout dances that we had and, and the clubhouse right, celebrations yeah. that we had after every game, and uh, you know, we uh, we left no stone unturned. We celebrated very, very hard after every win because you know, starting on May 24th, uh, we were playing mostly playoff style baseball for the rest of the season because we had dug ourselves such a deep hole early on in the season. So uh, you know, each win was a joy for us, and uh, we celebrated it, and uh, and we had uh, we had you know, some 
artistic dances in in the clubhouse. Ooh. We had what, some. What, uh, we, we we did a lot a of that stuff. Give me a sample of what that would be like. Oh, we, we had uh, we, uh, you know our we had a terrific Latin influence in in our clubhouse with uh, Annabelle Sanchez, right. and Juan Soto, and and Victor Robles, and, uh, salsa. and and Rodney and those boys, and they were doing we, some we've salsa. We learned how to do that here. In we, we had Miami. the conga lines, we had the salsa conga dancing, lines. and we had a whole bunch of stuff going hey, on. You got, it's, it's hard to win in baseball. It's a long season. You got to celebrate the wins when they come. Definitely. And it is difficult to repeat in any sport. Yes. We've seen that in football. We've seen it in hockey. They've been, you know, the Pittsburgh Penguins have been able to do it. But for you guys, like, what, what's the, why is it so difficult to repeat? Well, it, I think it's difficult because the the, uh, the the season itself does not lend to to having uh, you know great success year after year after year. So, uh, you know, we pride ourselves on the last eight years. We've been a terrific team. We've uh, we've got the second most regular season wins in all of baseball over the last eight seasons. We've been to the playoffs five out of the last eight years. We've won the World Series uh, championship, and we've we've got ourselves a good core group of players again this mm -hmm. year for 2020. So we're going to enter to 2020 with our expectation is. In 2020, as it has been for, uh, since I became the general manager, is to win the World Series. You know, we're we're not going to shy away from it, uh, but we're we're going to take that uh, again, like we did last year, one game at a time. As Davey Martinez uh, so poignantly uh, uh, said early on, was let's go one and zero today. That's going to be our mantra going to the next to to the next season, and uh, hopefully we can can carry this momentum and uh, and win another championship. Right, and as you're making the rounds on Radio Row. Uh, I'm sure you've been asked about this many different times, having beaten the Astros mm -hmm. in the World Series and everything that they've gone through and that's been uncovered about the, the sign stealing. Having, you know, faced them like that, I mean, what do you what's your takeaway on, on the news that's come out? Well, the news, you know, we, we haven't had we don't have all the facts yet. You know, there's still an investigation going on with uh, with MLB. So, you know, I, I'm focusing on the 2019 World Championship Washington Nationals. We, we uh, the way we did it, the way we came back and the and the, uh, and the character and integrity that we had in that team. That's what I focus on. And uh, we uh, we you know, we kind of disregard what the other organizations and franchises do. We do it the way we do it. And we think we do it as as well as anybody in the league. That sounds like an answer from a general manager. <laughs> that's a, that's what you got to do right around this kind of stuff. Um, but it is fascinating because, like, for so many of us, like, we just hear like, wow, like, I had no idea these things are going on. You're hearing like um, Paula Duca talk about different lights and different things like that. Do you think that we're going to see more of this sort of be uncovered? Well, I think that the commissioner did a great job of, of uh, putting it, putting in penalties for mm -hmm. this thing, and uh, and I think that uh, if you you know if you're going to if you're going to engage in that type of thing, you better be ready for the consequences because mm -hmm. they're coming down with a hammer. Yeah, definitely, as they should, of course. Yes. Um, okay, you guys are in a Budweiser commercial mm -hmm. for Super Bowl ad, which is super cool. What can you tell me about it? Well, it's a beautiful ad. It's uh, it's it's about uh, it's about the uh, American people, you know, drinking American beer, you mm -hmm. know, Budweiser, and uh, you know, it shows us winning the World Series and, and with with uh, such stick to itiveness and and uh, you know, coming from where we came, I think it shows the grit and determination uh, of uh, of what Americans can do, you know, when their back is against the wall. And uh, I always think of it this way, you know, in, in America, we we play hard and we work hard uh, and uh, you know America's at it you know when things are at its worst America's at its best so uh, that's how I look at it yeah and beer is a gr that's just like the best ad to be associated with I think like there's no doubt about it's it just, you know it's, it's, it's a a, such an American country yeah. and, and you know an American uh, American beer is nothing better than baseball and a beer at a ballpark perfect they, they pair very well together I'm Canadian but I love Bud Light and Budweiser so you know, I, I would join you on this tour around Radio Row <laughs> to promote Budweiser. And speaking definitely. of that, we thought because, you know, you've been you're promoting Budweiser, you're celebrating uh, the World Series win. Um, I love to celebrate everything. I've been drinking since I was 18 years old in Canada. <laughs> and we want to play a game. Have you ever played Flip Cup before? I have done that before, there's no, yes. There's no booze, yes, but this is, a, this is a game. Before, okay. Yes. So we were thinking... Um, we're going to try to see, you and I are going to battle each other. Okay. We're going to have 20 seconds to see how many times we can flip this cup. Okay. And then whoever whoever loses has to tell the camera, speak to the camera, and flip off someone. Just just tell them, uh, hey, 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 I don't like you. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> I hope you enjoy me describing this game right <laughs> okay. now, okay? Um, not actually, you don't have to flip someone off, okay? So I don't want to get you in trouble. Right. Um, okay, so let's try this. All right, let's do it. This, we're, we're learning on the go. So what we're going to do is, you guys want to one at a time? Okay, we're going to have you go first. You get 20 seconds. Okay, 
set. Go. All right, let's see what you got. It's a little overzealous. Uh, you got the right mo motion, but it's okay. One, we got one, we got two, we got three. Oh, getting the hang of it now. Four. Oh, baby, unstoppable. Ooh, almost five. And time. Six. Wow. Wow. Okay, I got my work cut out for me. I've had a lot of experience growing up in Canada, so let's see if I can put my my skills to the test. <sighs> Three. Rhythm, she's getting in rhythm. <laughs> Damn it. Oh. Hey. Congratulations. Thank Congratulations. Thank you. I've been preparing my whole life for this <laughs> moment. Uh, okay, so so you lost. You have to uh, you have to dish out a, a chirp to someone. Chirp to somebody. Well, I'm, I'm in such a great mood, Julie. I just, I just, I just don't have it in me right now to chirp at anybody. I've got nobody to chirp at. Okay, who am I mad at right now? Yeah, you take I'm it. I'm mad at my hotel because you guys don't have fresh coffee. Okay, get fresh coffee, Marriott. Um, all right, I think that I think my point was made. Thank you so much, you Mike, for, for joining me. us. Make sure you watch the Super Bowl at Washington Nationals, of course, all over Budweiser, World Series champions. We're going to have a whole lot more coming up on Call It a Night. Don't go anywhere. Hey, everyone, JSB here. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to Fubo Sports on YouTube, or else I guess you can watch puppy videos. That sounds good. <laughs>